of the darker things. The series that dives into the chilling depths of this week's most disturbed events and personalities. Today, we examine another seemingly mild-mannered religious leader. One who wouldn't normally catch your attention unless you lived in a small town called Waco. As we study David Koresh and the Branch Davidians and the tragedy of Waco, Texas. What you just witnessed was the siege on the Branch Davidian compound, which began on February 28, 1993 and ended on April 19, 1993. Just like we did in our previous video, we are going to start at the beginning. What better place to begin than one's childhood? More in its Vernon Howell. David Koresh was born in Houston, Texas to Bonnie Sue Clark and Bobby Wayne Howell on August 17, 1959. His start was anything but stellar, as his mom was just 14 years old when she gave birth to David Koresh and was not married to Bobby Wayne Howell. Bobby Wayne Howell wanted nothing to do with a pregnant body and her unborn child. He was much older than her. Before Bonnie Sue Clark gave birth to their son, he had married and was starting another family. Early on, David Koresh would be raised primarily by his maternal grandmother. He didn't become close to his mother or spend much time with her until he was about 7 years old. Bonnie would eventually marry Roy Haldeman. Not long after her marriage to Roy, they had a son, Roger. One might think that this would be a promising new start for David, but David came with some issues. Issues that Rod Haldeman didn't like dealing with. Roy would move his family from small Texas town to small Texas town. David had learning disabilities and Roy grew tired of his less than ideal stepson and before David could graduate kicked him out. In search of community, David Koresh found himself in Waco, Texas. And it was during this search for identity that David encountered a woman named Lois Roman, prophet of the Branch Davidians. Unbeknownst to David Koresh, she was about to be put on a crash course to unforeseen ruin. So it's fair to say that David Koresh was a motherless child and a fatherless child for a good part of his childhood. In his search for identity, he ended up in Waco, Texas. And Someone who's definitely looking for identity will often find themselves grasping to a higher power. Well, we will check to see exactly how his quest and his understanding of a higher power to help him understand himself turns out and his rise to prominence within the Branch Davidians in Waco, Texas in our next episode. Until next time, guys, this is your host, Doug Duncan. Reminding you that once you enter the dark, you may never be the same.